Thanks for joining us today in this butt and core class. I'm Corey Boggs. This is Brad Boggs, owner of Benefit Fitness. Here at this channel, we give 30 minute workouts, 10 minute workouts, and some nutritional tips. So, no more talking, let's jump right in. Let's do it. We're just going to do let's our do usual warm-up and then we'll get started with our fun core and butt. So let's just warm up our squat pattern. We're going to get our blood flowing through our body. We're going to go down and up for 10. Then we'll get right into core for half the class and then right into butt work for half the class. Three more squats. A little different format than what Lisa does. Just a My little legs different. My windmill. Right. But she, she will be back next week. Right hand to left toe, left hand to right toe. Send those hips back, rotate through that torso. Look up at your hand. Let's do four more. Just a few minutes doing these. Then we'll get into it. Last one, overhead reverse lunge. Lunge your right leg back. Drop your left hand down, side bend. Nice, that felt good. Switch feet, drop your hand down. Squeeze the glute of the back leg, sending that hip forward and side bend. Three more. And one. Good, and back for two. One more for, ooh, I'm wobbly today. And three, let's do our inchworms. Hinge over, stretch those hamstrings. Try to have your straight legs as you walk out, keeping those hips still. Plank position, send your hips down, shine your chest up. Pinch those shoulder blades down and back. Press back into downward dog, walk it up. We're just gonna do three, walk it out. Hips down, shine your chest up. Press back up, walk it in, straight leg, stretch those hammies. Last one, we'll stay here after you shine your chest. Plank position, lower down, finish up with that scorpion. Hands under your chin, bend your left knee to 90, kick it up towards the sky, over towards your right elbow. Tuck those ribs down, making sure you're not arching through your low back. Switch as you twist, stretching through your hips, your back, your chest. Give me two more, twist. Back to center, last one. All right. All right, you guys, are we ready for this? We're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna show you, you open this for me. Four exercises, 55 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. All core for the first time, it's 13 minutes. You're gonna come into your plank position. We're gonna do plank walkouts. You're gonna walk forward. You're gonna walk back, right hand. Then you go left hand, forward. So we're in an extended plank and back. That's exercise one, exercise two. Come into kind of your boat pose. We're gonna go elbows to knees. So my feet are off the ground. Elbows touch my knees, back down. Elbows touch my knees, back down. Exercise three, back into your plank position. You're gonna do a blast off. So press back to a knee tuck. Blast off, knee tuck. Final one, we're doing bicycles. Elbow to knee, straight leg switch. Elbow to knee, straight leg switch. We're gonna get that core nice and strong. All right, you guys. Get set up into that plank position. When the timer goes off, I want you to be ready. 50 seconds, 55 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. In five. Plank position is Brad there. You're there, get down, get down. You're gonna walk forward and go. Walk forward and back. Forward and back. Alternating your arms every time. Don't let those hips dance. Keep them nice and still. Forward as far as you feel comfortable and back. This is not fast, this is controlled. If you feel like your legs are dancing, my, like my hips are showing you right now, widen those legs, you'll have a nice solid stance. Keep those hips more still. Walk it forward and back. If you can't walk very far, just do about an inch forward so we're just moving those hands. If you feel really solid, walk out super far, stay there, walk it back in. We're doing this for almost a minute. You have 15 seconds left. Slow and controlled. You got it, Brad. Bring those hands underneath your shoulders every time. There we go, that's it, Brad. Nice job, you guys. Reach forward, your hands line up underneath your shoulder every time. Woo! One down on your back. So start with your feet on the ground, hands behind your head. You're gonna bring those elbows to meet those knees. Come right back down. All right, tuck that pelvis under, elbows to knees. Heels to the ground, elbows to knees, heels to the ground. Nice and slow and controlled. We're gonna burn, you guys. Whew. Elbows to knees, lean back, crunch it, and breathe. 
Make sure when you're doing this that your back doesn't arch. Keep those ribs tucked down. If you need to take a quick breather, I know you're gonna feel that little hip flexor, straighten those legs, bring them up and down. Lean back, whoo, we've got it. Tuck that pelvis under and up and up and up. Come on, you guys, let's do this. You're gonna feel the burn. Elbows to knees, if you wanna put your hands to your chest, like so, you don't have to bring quite as far. Big posture, 10 more seconds, you've got this, Brad. This is not easy. We're starting off strong. Four, three, two, one. All right, plank position. So when you do your blast off, you bring your butt back towards your heels. Nice stretch. Then you blast off, knee into your chest, okay? Back and then blast off, knee into chest, pause. Make sure to keep those knees off the ground the yep, whole time. Don't rest those knees. Come all the way up in, pause, hold, back out. Blast off, pause, and back. Blast off, pause, and back. Find that rhythm. You're at a three-point plank, back to a crunch. Nice overhead stretch position. Breathe through it. We have three rounds of this. The first round is the hardest. Your body's just getting warm. Like, what are you doing to me? Good, come on, stay focused, pause. When you come into that knee tuck, remember, shift your body forward, more forward than you may think. Eight seconds. Good, good. Almost there, we're rolling on our back. All right, on your back. So, you're gonna do your right leg, elbow to knee, and then straight leg, hand to toe, back out. Okay, elbow to knee, straight leg out, touch. Elbow to knee, straight leg touch. If you wanna make this more of a challenge, let that other leg hover off the ground. Elbow to knee, straight leg touch. That's really hard for a minute, but you can do it if you want. Straight leg reach. Keep your back flat right here. When your leg goes out, make sure your back's not arched. That's gonna give you um, some back pain. So tuck that pelvis under. Your back should be flat on the ground. Come on, you guys. Let's go and touch. Elbow to knee, cross to a touch. Good, come on you guys. Reach it, reach it. 10 seconds. We can do this. Just think first half, core, then you're done. Keep breathing. All right, flip back over you guys. Plank walk out. Remember, if you can't quite walk too far, that's all right. Just walk an inch forward, an inch back. It's not very far. We're just focusing on not letting your hips rotate in that walk. And then we're not letting our back extend as it's forward. <sighs> nice and slow, nice and controlled. Make sure when you come back, hands under, your hands aren't in front of you like so. You're already in that walk out. Put your hands right underneath your shoulders like that. You've got it, guys. Alternating your arms. <sighs> Breathe. This is strong. Squeeze your quads, drive your heels back towards the opposite wall. Push those heels back. It's gonna help turn on your core, fire up your muscles. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. We've got this, Brad. Come on. Eight seconds. You only have to do this exercise one more time. Breathe through. All right. All right, our favorite elbow to knee ones. You probably will feel it in these hip flexors. Put your hands down for a second, but really make sure we're tucking our pelvis under. Elbows to knees. You're welcome to even put your hands on your chest so you don't feel like your knees have to come up quite as far. Brad, put those hands on the chest, cross over, like so. Bring them up. Yep. We're in kind of like that boat pose, you know, that we normally do, but now we're adding that extra little crunch. Extra crunch, this is a long time. You're gonna start feeling it. The only way you see change is when you push through that pain. Push through. If it gets hard and you rest, that doesn't get us any better. Keep pushing, feel that burn. 15 seconds, let's go. We can do this, big chest. Don't let your shoulders round forward. Tall posture, eight seconds. Come on, get it up there, Brad, for the last five. And three, two, one. Yes, back over to your plank position. 
Remember our blast off to our tuck. Really take an extra second, hold. Okay, so we're pushing back, blast off, nice stretch. Up to a hold. Blast off, to a hold. Good, alternating your legs coming forward. And back. Breathe. Push your body forward. Hold. Make sure your hips are square to the ground so they don't deviate from side to side. That's it, you guys. Breathe, breathe. Up and hold. You know you're almost there. You only have 22. You're over halfway. Come on, keep going. Don't stop. Knee up. This is not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be challenging. If you wouldn't see change, if it wasn't challenging, you wouldn't get stronger. But we're trying to, so keep pushing. Last one. Whew. All right, back on your back for our bicycle to straight leg. Remember when you're in this position, not to let that back arch. Tuck those ribs down, pelvis tucked under. And straight leg. Bicycle, toe, elbow, toe. If you're not challenged, let that other leg hover the whole time. But that is not easy. Let's go. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can just keep that other leg at 90 and touch. And then 90 and touch is up to you. Or just keep them straight out and rested. Keep that back flat. Stay loose in your neck. Don't pull on your neck. Almost through, you guys. You only have 15 seconds. Then we have the last round. Good. Seven. Keep breathing. Your core should be fired up. How's it feeling, Brad? Feel yes, all right. Feels great. The last round is the best round, as I like to call it, because you're done after this. Moving on to the next. Yes, okay. moving on. Done with core. Walk it out. Guess how a plank walk. Getting me confused. <laughs> Let's go, you guys. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Remember, if you need to widen your feet like so to keep those hips from dancing, really straddle those legs. If you want it harder, keep those toes pressed together. That way it's really hard, especially if you resist your hips from moving. Okay, keep going, you're halfway. It's your last time doing this movement today. Breathe, breathe. Keep those hips still, slow and controlled. Push the floor away. Keep your head tucked back. Don't let your head just drop down. We want a nice straight body line. You guys have got this. We're here right alongside of you. Struggling. Woo. Woo. All right, back on your back. Elbow to knees. 55 seconds of the best one. My favorite one. Brad's favorite. Okay, remember, tuck your pelvis under. Hands can be in front of your chest if you want, or behind those ears. If they're behind the ears, you have to go a little bit further up in that crunch, it's harder, or you can cross it over. Small movements. Come on, we can do this. If you're struggling, give me five, take a breather, and five, go back and forth. Push, push, elbows to knees, touch, touch it. Touch it, come on. 23 seconds. If you want to just hold, this is the last set without resting, just hold. Those are your modifications, your variations for wherever you're at. You want people to still feel like they're getting a good workout in, not feeling like they're failing. So if you need to hold, hold. Four seconds, two, one. Whew, had to be done with that one. Thank goodness, right Brad? All right, you guys, plank position, blast off to your hold. Tuck that pelvis under, don't let your back arch. Reach your butt back, knee drive, knee tuck. Good, blast off to tuck. Hold that tuck for a second and then drive it back. Hold that tuck for a second. That's it, you guys. Really send your butt all the way back to those heels. Don't let those knees touch the ground. Fly forward. You're halfway. Push your body forward. 
pause in that knee drive. Don't let your ears come to your shoulders or your shoulders come to your ears. That chin is tucked back. Keep it going. Breathe. Almost there. Yes. All right, final core. And then we get to work that booty. Okay. Bicycle to straight leg. Bicycle, kick. Bicycle, straight. Alternating legs. Keep your back flat on the ground. As that leg comes down, don't lose control and let your back arch. Always keep those ribs tucked down. Even with those legs extended, your ribs should be tucked down. Breathe and kick. Do it. Get strong. We're rocking together. Awesome, you guys. Come on, keep it up. Push it. Don't stop now. This is the last core exercise of the day. You can say hi to those abs when you're done. Keep it pushing. Only 10 more seconds. Keep your neck loose. Don't pull on your head. Back is flat. Ribs are tucked down. No flaring of your core. Yes. All right, you guys, if you need, grab a sip of water. We're gonna move on. Same pattern, but we're gonna do four glute exercises. We're gonna start on the ground for our first two. We're gonna do glute bridges. So a lot of us have done glute bridges. You're just gonna drive to the heels, tuck your pelvis under, hips up. After about 10 or 15 seconds, I'm gonna tell you to switch. You're gonna do a one leg, and then we'll switch into two legs. That's the first exercise. Second exercise, we'll split halfway through. We're gonna do a dynamic, a clamshell. So we've done these clamshells, then to a dynamic, send those hips off the ground. So one with hips on the ground, up with hips off the ground. Switch halfway. Then we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do staying low on your left leg. You're gonna split squat. Then we're gonna curtsy squat. Split squat, curtsy squat. We'll switch halfway. Final exercise is we're gonna do a reverse lunge. And then we're gonna do a straight leg kick. So let me come sideways so you can see this. Reverse lunge, straight leg kick to a pause. Notice I pause for control. Reverse lunge to a pause. Hip stay square, okay? Let's do this, you guys. We good, we good. On the ground, glute bridges. Glute bridges it is. Get ready in five. We'll go right into single leg in about 10 seconds. First, finding our pattern. Drive through those heels up and down. Hips, squeeze the glutes. You have to intentionally connect your mind to your bum. Keep going. Up, down, two more. Up, down. If you feel control, bring that leg up off the ground. And up and down, halfway. Let's go. Drive through that heel. You can just do one leg. You can do two legs. Focus on your glutes. Focus on your core. Your core is gonna be tired now. Good, come on, keep it going. All right, switch legs if you're doing one leg. If you're doing one leg, switch it. Come on, drive through those heels. Don't let your back at the top, often our back at the top will wanna over arch. It's not about how high you do, it's about keeping your core engaged, straight line, driving through that heel, engaging your bum. Don't press through your low back. If you feel your low back is working in the single leg, grab that knee in, it'll help take it away. All right, dynamic clamshells. Come to your side. You're gonna first give me one open, heel stay connected, and then you're gonna press up, heels off the ground, open wide. Heels connected, press up. Heels connected, drive through that knee, hips are forward. I'm gonna come to the side so you can also see. So, I'm gonna come close to you, Brad. So sideways, and then you're gonna press up, hips forward as those knees come off the ground. Open. Hips come forward, feet off the ground. Okay, switch sides, switch sides. Okay, so open, and then you're gonna press hips forward, feet off the ground, right back down. Open, working that glute medius. Press up, hips forward. Make sure when you're opening, we're not rotating your body. Keep your body at an angle to the ground. Open, hips forward, squeeze. Open, hips forward. Good, don't arch your back. All right, up, up, up. Okay, let's all start with our left leg. Left leg forward, left leg forward. We're gonna do a split squat. 
Foot squat, we're gonna stay low, bring that foot behind you, curtsy. Split, don't. Nope, we're pulsing. Loading up this glute. So I'm gonna come sideways so you see me. I am not upright. I'm hinged, that's gonna load up your glute. That's why we're here, it's for our butt today, right? Driving through that heel. Keep it going. If you're too upright, you're not gonna get your glute, you're gonna get your quad and your back hip flexor. Lean forward. Last one, all right, switch legs, switch legs, right into it, come on, don't break. Don't breathe her. This leg now has th almost 30 seconds to breathe. Good, remember, lean forward, but also show me your shirt. Don't round forward. Come on, get low, that knee should be almost touching the ground. Get lower, get lower. Almost there. Breathe, breathe. And three, two, one, yes. All right, this next one is again a reverse lunge, but then you're gonna press, your body's gonna come into a straight line, you're gonna hover, Oop, don't get wobbly, right back down. So reverse lunge, shift your weight over your front leg, kick that back leg straight, hover, and back down, reverse lunge, kick that back leg straight, flex your back foot, don't point it, flex it. I'm gonna come sideways. Same leg, keep doing the same leg. First half, one leg, second half, the other leg. Straight down. Hover, pull that leg up, flex your foot. Keep going, flex that back foot, flex that back foot. And switch. Come on, you guys, switch those legs. Good, Amy, nice job. Good control, Sky. awesome. Keep it rocking. Everybody else who I know, their screen is black, but they're sweating, so you're working. Keep it going. Come on, focus on that leg. Hover. Stability and control in that ankle and that glute fires up. All right, one down, back on the ground. So you're welcome to do single legs for half and half, or you can, I'll tell you to switch, do double legs for the first 10, 15, and then do single, it's up to you. Okay, down and up, drive to that heel. Hips full extend them without arching your back. If you wanna make a little bit more of a challenge, raise those arms up toward the ceiling. Okay, go into a single leg if you haven't yet. Try it, try it out. Keep it going, you guys. Breathe. Up, drive through that heel. Flex the foot of the leg that's off the ground. Okay, switch legs. That foot that's off the ground, flex it. Drive through your heel. Brace your core. Keep those ribs tucked down. It's gonna keep your low back from arching in that extended position. Breathe it. Up and down. This is all about control. Don't just pop it up and down as fast as you can. Up and hold and down. Yes, all right. Our clam to dynamic clam shell. Okay, so feet start connecting. Really don't rotate your body when you open your hip. Your, your, it's kind of like you're at a side plank. And then all the way up. Right back down. Clam it all the way up. Send those hips forward, don't arch your back. If you're ever feeling any of these more in your low back than you would like, your core or your glute work, it's because you're arching, you're not connecting your core to your pelvis, engaging those glutes. Come on, give me one more. And up, and switch. Come on, roll it around, quick switch. Don't take your time. Open and up. Open and up, press those hips. If you want more of a challenge, don't do the first one. Just do the, do the dynamic. That will burn the whole time. That first open gives you kind of a bit of a breather. So if you want to just go up and down, you can just go up and down. All right, let's stand up. Left leg forward. So split, split lunge, remember, let your upper body fall forward a little bit and then pulse it back behind. Back and forth. Stay as low as you can. Get lower. Amy, get lower. Mary, get lower. Deanna, you can get lower. Let's go, you guys. Come on, Karen. Low, low, low. And down, and down. Almost there. A few more seconds. All right, switch it. Come on, right back into it. Don't take a breather. Keep going, get lower. You've got at least to get lower. That knee tapping the ground almost every time. If it's not, 
You need to get lower. Come on, breathe in. 10 seconds. Load up your booty. Don't put too much weight on that back leg. You have five. And three, two, one. All right, back to your first leg. First leg, come on, left leg forward. Get ready. Okay, and go. Lunge it, straight leg. Lunge it, remember to a hovered stability. Reverse lunge, shift that weight forward. You're gonna load up your glute. Keep your hips square to the ground. Lunge, hips square to the ground. Good, keep, keep, that, it. Weight keep that weight on that standing yep. leg. Good, you got that, Kathy. That's it, Tanya, keep it going. All right, switch legs. Hover, good, lunge, hover. Keep your hips square. Look, I want you to think about your back. Pinky toe is pointing towards the ground. Don't let it drift open. Pinky toe reaching towards the ground. Good, that's it, Amy. You got it. Keep it up, deep Sky. Five seconds. Yes. Oof. One more round. We're done. All right, you guys, we've got this. Glute bridges, single leggers. I want everybody to challenge themselves. Everybody do a single leg the whole time for half of it. Whole time for half of it. Whatever that means. Remember, focus that leg for half the time and we'll switch. Drive those heel, drive to the heel. Keep your ribs tucked down. Don't arch your back. If you're feeling this in your back though, please put that one leg down. You should not be feeling this in your back. Give me one more. All right, switch legs. Down and up. Keep your hips square. Focus on ribs tucked down, and core is braced. Breathe. Up, up, up. Get them up. 10 more seconds. Don't overextend that back. We have five, four, two, one. Yes. All right, if you weren't challenging that clam to dynamic clam, I want you to try to do the dynamic clam the whole time, okay? Get ready, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do it my best. Up and down. Or alternate like we showed, open to dynamic. It's up to you. Or do it all. Send the hips forward as the leg comes up, hips forward. We're not staying at that angle here. Get those hips fully forward and then send them back down. Come on, give me two more. All right, switch it. Switch sides. So up and open, hips are forward. Then their hips sit back. Kind of like a hinge position when they come back. And we're pressing the hips forward as they open up. We've got it. Breathe, breathe. You can do this, you guys. Five. Give me a few more. And two, one. All right. Time for the burn. Stand up, stand up. You should be ready before the timer goes off. Left leg forward. We're pulsing. Get ready, get down, and pulse it. Remember what I say, knee to the ground. Knee to the ground. Actually, I was saying get lower. Get lower. You guys, let's go. Stay as low as you can. Even, last at, round of yeah, last even round as you of these. switch, don't come out of it. Stay low. Sky, you've got it. Stay low. You can do it. Mary, keep it up, Karen. All right, switch. Get low. Pop to the side. Down and up. To the side. Come on. We only have one more exercise after this. Right to the end. Keep breathing. 15. Load up your glute. Keep your chest up, but still with a forward lean. Five more seconds. Don't stop. Get lower. And one. Ooh, last minute and you're done. Last minute, left leg forward. Lunge to a straight leg. Make sure when you're straight out, that toe is pointed towards the ground. Don't tilt it out. Reverse lunge, straight leg hover. Reverse, straight leg. This is all about control. Up, back down. Control, 
tilt those hips down. You'll actually feel like you're almost gonna fall to one direction. If those hips are square, it's gonna feel awkward, but that's what needs to happen. Give me one more and switch. All right, switch it. Up, good. Finish strong. Finish strong. Well, done, you only have 20 more seconds. And you did it today. Hold, reverse lunge. Hold it, send that butt back. Stay control of your body, especially in that straight leg position. Last one, Woo. and done. Woo. Nice job, you guys. Good job. Burn out that core, show off those six packs. My booty is burning. I bet that was a button core class you have never tried. Please leave a comment below. We love to hear your feedback. Also remember to subscribe to our channel. We're always trying to put out new fun stuff for you guys. So we look forward to seeing you in the future.